Hey, it's Matt with McGee Farms, and we uh, went from having an extremely bitter cold couple of weeks to uh, a couple of weeks now that it's been in the 50s and 60s, and uh, it's looking like we might get one little cold snap, but for the most part, we're early February, and I think we're gonna gonna be good as far as uh, the worst of it, snow and nasty cold. Looks like it's getting a little warmer, so we're looking ahead to the springtime, haven't got as many videos out here recently just because I've been busting my butt trying to get animal stuff taken care of, get some additions to the garden built so everything's ready to go. And uh, one thing, we're getting ready to uh, start putting some seeds in. This is, I believe, the 8th of February, 2024. And uh, we're going to start some inside. And I picked this up off of Amazon. Got the box kind of upside down here, but uh, kind of glance at it, haven't looked at it, you know, too much, but uh, we've decided we're gonna, gonna start some seeds inside. I'm gonna plant a little early because as uh, if you've seen some of the other videos, we kind of have some uh, hoops over our raised bed gardens to where that'll at least keep the frost and let us plant maybe half month, month earlier. But I ran across these on Amazon and was kind of impressed with these. These were uh, about, uh, about $25 for a 30 pack of these. And uh, silicone bottoms, so they're easy to get out. They don't break. You can reuse them over and over again. Got little trays that go underneath that hold the water in. And this was what I really kind of like with this, as I'm dumping stuff all over my deck right now. But the uh, the tops of them, they're a little higher. Most of what I see at the stores locally, these are lower and don't give a whole lot of room for the plants to grow. This will let them grow just a little bit more, get a little bit bigger. And then they have a, uh, a vent that goes on top of them. I don't know if you can see it, you gotta push these on a little bit but uh, basically turns to let how much uh, moisture in or out. And so we're getting ready to plant some of these. Figured I'd show you what we're using. Got me some moisture control potting mix from uh, miracle Grow. It's kind of nice if you can't get out to, uh, or if you don't you know, watch them as much as you should watering. Uh, this kind of kind of helps you out, gives you a little room for air if you uh, get busy and kind of screw up. And then of course, the last month I have been buying tons and tons of seeds. But I think we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna start our start our tomatoes, start some peppers, uh, maybe some melons and cantaloupe. Uh, not, not sure on those, I might wait a little bit on those, but definitely some of our basics. Also, uh, I'm gonna be setting up and I'll make another video of that here in a couple of days. But uh, we're going to go ahead and start some sweet potatoes and some potatoes inside and let them get started so we can get a little, a little earlier harvest. I've got some grow bags for those, but I'll do a separate video on those. But I'll put a link to this down below as you watch throughout the uh, season. Get to see if this is uh, well, probably about a month or so. Tell if this is uh, basically worth the money and... Uh, and worth trying or if this is junk but just thought i'd share that with you what we're doing as uh, we get stuff ready for the spring it's matt with mcgee farms if you like the videos or uh, they help you out inspire you please uh, consider hitting that thumbs up button it helps out with uh, the algorithm on youtube and gets those videos out to more people also consider subscribing to the channels or uh, sharing them with friends it helps the channel grow, and it's much appreciated. Till next time, have a great day.